today's the day. Okay, so here we go. So this round pipe is gonna be our new support beams under the house. And then there's the beam that it is sitting on top of, that 16 foot. That is gonna be our new support beam. Let's take a little walk here. And Derek and his crew already took the jacks under the house. I should have caught those, but I didn't. I'll try to go change my shoes, it's a little muddy. Go change my shoes so we can film that. Here you go. That is going in today. That's the new support beam for under the house. And then we'll have new pipe supporting the house as well. Pretty exciting stuff today. Yay! Alright, I'm going to go change my shoes. Those are a little too girly for walking around in the mud and construction. We're an inch above the beam where it was sitting on there. Hey, look. Oh Back with the insulation, yes. you see that's how much we've Holy picked it up. <gasps> wow. Did it feel any different walking across it? Uh huh, it's not spongy. It should oh, feel wow. a little bit more level. It's still down in there, but. That's a whole inch. I don't know if we'll cut this thing in half to get it out or what. Yeah, we can. You want the chainsaw? We can take it out in pieces. One of the beams that was inside holding the house up. That's how rotten it was. That is one rotten beam. <laughs> That's one of the support beams. That's going to be replaced by that iron pipe. I don't know if you guys can hear, they're cutting the. They got the chainsaw in there and they're cutting the support beam. So we're going to try to go under and see what's going on. Another rotten board. Woo! That one's in really bad shape. Side chain on it, yank it out. Right on. There it Bye. goes. There it goes. I have to cut it in half right here. And that. Here's where we're holding it up. Wow. Lifting stuff back over here, and you can see all that rotten. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of rotten stuff right there underneath the bathroom. Yeah. We're probably gonna need a dress too. Just that whole corner there's just kind good. of funky. It's all down. Yeah. Take it up a notch. I'll watch stuff. Maybe. You want a different jack? I got a little Alright, here we go. Here's the old beams. Well, some of them. These are some of the old ones that we took out. Support beam. This is the main support beam. And here comes the new one.
16 feet and 6 inches thick. 16 by 6. That's what I was told. got a compressor going today because uh, the guys are here and they've been cutting on this pipe that's going to be a new support pipe. Let me show you the pipe. So they've been cutting on that pipe and then they're welding braces together and going under the house. So let's go under the house and check this out. Or at least let's go to the side and then we'll go underneath. Let's go see what we got going on, shall we? It's been beautiful weather the last couple days. The mud is finally getting a little more solid. Let's go check out the work. All right. So we still have some jacks in place holding things up. Um, we're gonna go down underneath here see what's going on under here. But here is the new steel beam. And let's go inside and look at the reinforcements that are holding it up. All right. So this is where we're at. We have new steel support columns 
This is sitting on some of that original Carthage stone. This is stone down there, that's not dirt, that's stone. And here it is. And it is welded to our new beam. Yay! And the beam pulled the house up. So we have some new issues that have come about. No, no surprise, honestly. You know, so the house is only a little over 100 years old. So there's been some new issues. So here's the jack that was holding our house up. House is level, as level as it can get inside, but that did uh, open up some new problems because a lot of things are, <laughs> no, the house is level. There's some like countertops and things that are not level because they were put in after the house had already settled. So that's the beam, there's our new beam there. And they're gonna come back and put in, my understanding is concrete around the edges here to fill in this gap here, fill all of that in. So all of that'll be filled in. And then I believe, I believe they will concrete this as well, possibly. And then here's a good shot of the new beam. And the nice thing is the old beam did not come all the way out to the edge of the house, but this one does, as you can see. This one comes all the way out to the edge of the house. So here we are, here's the new beam. And, and next will be the stone mason coming in putting our stone in between the wall, replacing the original foundation stone between this new wall. There's some of the rock, original rock right there. So they will come in and put the stone back in here so that this is all closed up. But that beam is now supporting the house. There's no jacks actually supporting the house. Some other wood over here, floor joists, that have deteriorated. There's this one that's really not gonna be held up by a rock. Um, so this one's not in very good shape. This is the corner of our kitchen. And I will show you upstairs when I say the corner of the kitchen, you'll know what I'm talking about. So this is all the corner of the kitchen. This is where our stove at, right, right in this area. Let's see how. So this is all going to need to be replaced. Um, we're going to have to get a con new contractor in for this one. Hopefully very this, see how rotten this is. Um, this is going into the bathroom area. So this is where our sink and toilet are at. And then this is where the bathtub is at. So um, this is all going to have to be repaired bit of this has got to be fixed because now this part of the house um, this is the bathtub now this part of the house is sinking in because these are rotten and not really holding up much of anything as you can see they are just barely there Hey, are you uh, supervising? <laughs> are they doing an okay job out there? Are you supervising? Just kidding. Are they doing an okay job? Any comments? <laughs> so we were under the house and we were talking about the part of the house that's kind of sinking and some of the new problems that have come up. Well, this is one of the areas right here. <laughs> See where the trim is coming across right there where it's coming apart. You can see where it's kind of, I don't know if you can see the slope or not, but maybe you'll be able to see the slope. This is, uh, so it's kind of been a hole under there anyway. That board has always been there. So this is the location where the problem is starting to occur. And then right here is where the beam is at, right in this area. 
So this level, this area is totally level and really sturdy. And then you come in our bathroom. So I don't know if you can tell on the toilet. See how, I don't know if you can tell, but it's leaning over here in this corner to the right because it's, this is where the floor is kind of collapsing underneath that I was showing you. See how this is all cracked and the tiles come out and it's, the toilet is actually kind of sinking back in there. And the shower, the tub is sinking. So this is that area where the floor is all going to need to be replaced is in here. So here's some treasures that got located by the crew downstairs under the house when they were sinking and putting in the support pillars and they were sinking them down in the ground. They dug out the floor down there that's stone and were counter sinking the support pillars and they, and they located these. This is a mason jar lid. This is a mason jar lid and it has porcelain inside of it. Super cool. And then here's an old jar. A really cool old jar. So there we go. A couple little treasures located under the house.